obviously a year off from the jungle, but now you're right back into the thick of things. How excited are you to be back in Fort Wayne and get another season with the Comets under your belt? Yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely excited. Obviously, it's um, it's a place I've been pretty vocal that I'd always uh, be happy playing there. I never thought I'd even be leaving for a year or anything, but uh, you know, obviously it it ended up happening, and uh, you know, coming back, and I, I just couldn't be happier. I'm glad it ended up working out. Um, obviously, I'm glad the organization was uh, you know willing to do this as well, and um, you know, like I tell everyone, it's like a family where. You know, you have some uh, ups and downs with family, but uh, hopefully you always reconnect. And in this case, we were able to, and uh, I'm definitely happy about it. You mentioned, obviously, everything happened pretty fast. Just kind of take me through, you know, through the summer and through everything that kind of went on and how you ended up coming to this point pretty much. Yeah, I was uh, honestly just had a busy summer uh, just with my own stuff. And, um, you know, really wasn't thinking about hockey too much, to be honest. I, I, I knew the decision that was on my mind but to be honest I really didn't try to to really take it too seriously all the time because I knew if I just thought about it I'd drive myself nuts so I kind of just was waiting for it to hit me and uh you know I don't think anything really ever hit me I think it was just the realization was always there that I, I still wanted to play again and uh you know kind of just uh you know had some talks with Jesse the new coach and uh, those went well and and then you know talked to Dave and this was all probably within a week and, you know, ended up coming down real quick to Fort Wayne to have a quick chat with Dave. And, you know, that went well as well and ended up uh, agreeing to a contract later that day. So it, it all happened pretty quick and that was the beginning of this week. So it really did move this fast. And uh, so, yeah, but I'm excited, obviously, with the season coming up right around the corner. It's uh, like, OK, time to start packing and getting ready to go. But um, I feel good. I've been able to stay in shape and stuff too this summer. So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I always knew I wanted to play. So I made sure I was in the gym and still skating and stuff too. But uh, it didn't really feel real. But now it does. And I'm happy. Um, you kind of touched on a little bit, but just uh, how's the body feel? How are you feeling? I know you missed obviously the end of last year with a broken foot. You feel good coming into the year? Yeah, no, I definitely do. The The foot was bugging me for a bit, just an annoying injury and painful, can't walk or be too mobile for a while. Luckily, it was my left foot, not my right, so I could drive around a bit uh, or else I probably would have went a little psycho. So that was good. But uh, yeah, that's all healed up and over with now. It didn't affect any training or skating this summer. So it's as if it never happened at this point. And the back's been feeling good too. But uh, yeah, that was kind of my focus this summer was, you know, I'm going to stay in the gym mainly and make sure I get all my strength back because that's the big thing for me now is staying healthy and avoiding injury. And obviously if I can build back some muscle where I need it, that's going to you know only help me. So that's what I focused on this summer and got to a point where I realized I was content and feel pretty good. And that's when it was easier to say, okay, yeah, I think I'm, I'm ready to give it another season. And I definitely have at least one more good one in me. So I'm, I'm feeling good right now. And uh, yeah, going into camp is probably some of the best I've felt in some years, to be honest. I know when we talked earlier in the summer, you said you hadn't had a chance to meet Jesse, but now you obviously have. You said you had the conversation with him that went well. Just, you know, what were the what, what are the conversations like? How do you feel about Jesse kind of now as as your new head coach and and someone that you're coming in to, uh, you know, play for for the first time? Yeah, no, it's I mean, it, it's exciting. It's a fresh start for both of us. Right. So I, with me coming back after a year off and him getting his first uh, uh head coaching deal it's uh it'll be good for both of us and I think that's the big thing for both of us is just having an open line of communication and being transparent with each other and our expectations and obviously it's his expectations more than me he's the coach and um you know but you know he didn't say anything that I didn't like to hear or didn't expect and uh yeah just looking forward to obviously helping him along in the city too because I obviously spent more time than he has yet and um but you know he knows the game he's played the game and yeah, you know, everything he's said so far, I like. So, uh, yeah, I expect us to respect each other and have a pretty good relationship. You're going to be one of the few veteran guys on what's, you know, looking like a pretty young team for the Comets at this point in the year. Just what do you see your role kind of being coming back and, you know, being one of those older guys on this roster now? Yeah, it's obviously the role kind of has evolved into being more of a leadership type role or you know, not mentor, but, you know, just being a voice for the younger guys that, you know, haven't been even in pro hockey yet, or maybe just coming out of college or juniors. And, you know, it is, is an adjustment because you don't know what to expect. And it's not too much different than, 
you know, anything they've been going through in their career so far. It's just obviously some nerves attached to it and, you know, playing probably a little faster game, some more skilled players, some just better overall hockey. And uh, it is intimidating to start. And I think everyone, obviously, with a younger team, a lot of guys are going to be coming in wanting to make a team, not knowing if they're really solidified or anything yet. And, you know, it really just makes for good competition. But that's where I think I'll be a good voice in the locker room for the guys because it's, it's really just something wanting to keep them focused on playing the way they know how to play and just using their particular skill set and not trying to do too much. And that's really, it's simple. It's not something, you know, no one's ever heard before, but it's the truth. And just hopefully from a guy who's been around for a long time, and especially with this organization, hopefully my work will resonate with those guys and help ease those nerves. When you've been able to play during your career with the Comets, you've been nearly a, a point per game kind of a guy. Do you kind of see your role being a, you know, one of the the offensive threats for this team, or do you guys, or do you kind of, you know, what do you expect from from yourself coming in this year? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I still think my expectations are higher than anyone else's on myself. I I never wanted to play, you know, back down the other way, right? Like I didn't want to play myself to a point where I'm like, okay, I'm just, I I'm no good anymore, and that's just definitely not the way I feel yet. Like I definitely still feel I have some production left in me, and. Uh, you know, I was doing all right last year up until the injury and stuff too. So um, I, and I don't even think I was doing as good as I could have last year. So I still definitely expect to produce offensively. I don't think my game is going to be anything different than what the fans are used to. It uh, might not be, you know, leading scorer of the league or MVP caliber. It's not, that's not what I'm expecting anymore. It's you got to be realistic with age and the league's just getting so much younger, faster and better. I mean, from the first year I played in this league to now, it's just, it's otherworldly so um you know really more than ever just coming in with the mindset of just helping the team and whatever that whatever way is needed at that point you know it's something i'll assess and if i can do something i will and that's just the way i'm going to come in and you know i don't need any special treatment or anything like that i just again want to be a part of the team and i'm happy that it's going to be the comments last one for me when you step out on the ice october 21 what's it going to be like to be back in the jungle for the first time uh, yeah, yeah to be honest it's it's funny because it's just like something that's probably going to be in my memory forever is just walking out of the tunnel and it's just that picture is always fresh in my mind so um yeah I think there'll be it'll be cool though obviously I mean there'll be some excitement it's uh only other time that's similar to this is you know back in 2018 when I went to Norway for a few months and then came back but uh to be able to step out for the home opener and stuff like that. That's obviously extra special. That's the one I missed that year. So uh, to be able to do that is going to be cool. Uh, obviously, I'm sure my family will be down in attendance and stuff like that. And they're looking forward to it probably more than I am even, which is pretty funny, but it's cool to see. So uh, yeah, we're all happy that it worked out and we'll definitely be looking forward to that.